comics also, stages, Fumetti also, and uh, musician living in Beirut, born in Beirut. To improvise music is maybe a step ahead in the sense it's really pure sound, working on sound as music. It's like um, in painting, like long time ago already the painters understood that the line and the stain of paint and the color are paint in, 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 in themselves, you know. You don't need to represent something to call it a painting. This group is called uh, Oriental Space, or um, more precisely Franz Houtzinger's Oriental Space. Uh, Franz, who is the second trumpet player in the group, is uh, the instigator of this group. So we met in Beirut, he was playing there and uh, played for a year and a half uh, as a duo and recorded a CD. Then uh, we brought in our each one of us brought his most regular partner, so Sharif, uh, the guitarist from Beirut, for me, and Helge Hinterger plays uh, his throat. <laughs> I mean, he plays toys and transform his throat uh, tones with the small microphones and he used to play samples. I have uh, actually some kind of notebooks that I have always with me when I travel and even when I'm in Beirut I, mean, I draw in it, a sketchbook. And the idea of putting everything on a blog is a uh, long time idea, I mean it's been a couple of years I'm thinking of it and being very lazy I never uh, really got into it and with the war it was sort of um, the reason that pushed me to do it, I mean I couldn't have any excuse anymore if you want. And having received since the first day of um, bombing Beirut over a hundred emails from friends, musicians and people I know around the world that were asking what's happening and posting the drawings that I do uh, daily about the war, this blog was kind of communication. already gathering a lot of uh, recording of the civil war of our youth in Beirut, so uh, rifles, bombs and stuff like this. And the idea was to play with them to, to see how much these sounds may have influenced my playing today, you know, uh, subconsciously. And when the war arrived, it was directly uh, clear that to do it live was better than to take pre-recorded material. Starry Night is an excerpt actually of six minutes from a um, longer track that makes 40 minutes maybe. And uh, it's uh, the same music that I play, so free improvised music sounds and recorded uh, during uh, last summer's war in Beirut, in Lebanon. So recorded from my balcony, it's like now you hear the plane. Pretty much the same, plus the bombs. In a sense, all that I say might be misinterpreted, but to understand it well, I have to say that during the war you have uh, you have much more um, productivity and much more uh, thinking and ideas and willing to work. So I work three times more than in any other normal period, and you feel much more uh, alive. In a sense, you feel um, every minute that you are alive. And I think it's because of the danger that is around you, in a sense. Um, you feel every minute that is passing is, is passing for real. You have to fill it with something, you know what I mean? So, and you have all this anger to get out. So you are really focused and you really work in... Uh, you, you focus, canalize all this adrenaline coming into, into your work. And it's pretty... Um, 
extreme situation for creation, but it's very, very fertile. I wouldn't like to go to Iraq to do another experience, or I wouldn't suggest to any artist to come to Beirut to try it, but once you are in it, you have nothing else to do, you have to do it, and um, you have to admit that it's, it's, um, it's very healthy for you because it keeps you sane in, in your head, and there is a sort of, of extra creativity you are creating over way, way more than what you can create in normal time. The problem is today it's not normal, you know, it's, we didn't go back to normality, I mean, we went for a little while, but uh, now it's really uh, a very different situation with the problems in the, in the north, with Palestinian camps, there is this uh, Islamist, Islamic, uh, how do you say, uh, group school, a small Al-Qaeda, a local one and fighting with the army, so there is battles and there is a lot of bombs happening in Beirut, um, like car bombs and assassination of politicians. It's, it's very, very bad um, in the sense that you don't know what is happening at all and everybody is expecting something to explode at some, at some, some point, a war or something, a civil war. <laughs> different. You cannot be angry against anything anymore. It's all the Lebanese people fighting together and you feel it's more uh, the time where you have to decide which side you are and this is something I, uh, I really am afraid of since very long time and I think it's the only thing that would let me fly out of Lebanon. I mean having to decide again if you are with those or with the others and I think I'm totally against all this way of thinking. Here also it's not courageous to stay, you know, it's just normal to stay. You're in your house with your family, your friends, your books, your cities, your everything, your toothbrush. You don't want to go to, uh, to Paris or to anywhere else and see the war on TV. It would drive you crazy. Like uh, I think being there makes you be less uh, worried than if you follow the war from an outside city, at least for Lebanese for sure, because it's our country. But in a civil war it becomes a very different thing and this we experienced for 15 years in our views. I'm not ready at all to go back into this situation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.